So welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today this is going to be the return to a map that I haven't done a video on for a very long time. It's very popular, a lot of people love it and the reason why I do these videos is because I want to support all these maps that have potential to one day come to the console and the PC as an official map. I mean a lot of these maps probably have more potential in Arc 2 now rather than Arc 1 um, because I think there's only really going to be space for one more free one in Arc 1 now until the release of Arc 2 but this one is really cool and I want you guys to support it and I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. If you do, as always, smash that like button. On the last video, I think we smashed over 2,000 likes on this map. Now, I'm not expecting that again, but if we could smash 1,000 on today's video, that would be amazing. Subscribe if, if you're new around here. And let's get in with the video, because there's lots to explore and lots to check out. Now, this map is a lot more PvE than it is PvP. Um, and I think a lot of people noticed that when they watched this, uh, when they watched the last one, um, which is never a bad thing, you know. I feel like mm, but all maps are kind of PvP and PvE, but there's never actually been maps that are just for PvP or maps that are just for PvE, which I think would be quite an interesting thing. So, let's have a little look at this map and I'll show you guys a little bit about Andreza, I think. Andreza, I think is how to pronounce it. So, we're going to see what's changed. All of this so far looks quite similar. I can't remember if that tree was there. I don't really know. But in the main spawn, as you spawn in, you've got all these little houses. Um, you know, I don't think there's really much in them, to be honest. But they're, they're surrounded by a gate, as you guys can see. And you can open this gate as well using that button there. Um, and then this is the main center of it, of waterfall and some benches that you, I, I thought you could sit on, but maybe you just have to sort of do this. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then you've got your waterfall here with a uh, bulb dog. Um, and then if you come around, we've got some more little houses that you can actually uh, get into and like have some shelter in. I think some of these doors are locked and some, uh, some you can get into. Oh no, there you go, button. Oh, so that's what I remember. So some buttons work and some buttons don't. Because I remember this is still quite early access. Can we get around this way? I don't know if we can. I remember, from what I remember, some I could get into. You watch, I won't be able to get into any of them now. <laughs> Let's have a look. It would be really cool if they were... Come on, door. Oh, it's not working. Anyway, the gate one did work last time. Can we get into this one? Button? Maybe they're doing an update or something, but... Anyway, usually there was a few things that you get into. Maybe they're locked or something. I don't really know. Um, but they're really cool little houses. There's quite a few of them as you go around. Um, I think I don't think all of them have got buttons, as you can see. Um, I suppose we could always ghost inside. I think if you guys want to see, um, as you, why did that not work? Did I just did I put a ghost? Oh, there we go. So yeah, there's nothing in these ones. Um, let's see if there's any anything in the ones with the buttons. I don't think there really is. I think they're just oh. Interesting. What is that? That is that is. <laughs> she went. Let's come out a ghost. What? Oh, frame rate. I I don't. This must this must be new. Oh, the game's gonna crash, isn't it? The game is so gonna crash. Look at us. Wow. What have I just found? Like, this was not... <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I did not expect that. We would we would have just missed that if we didn't ghost. Should we swim along and see what we can find? Maybe you come out at one part of the map, I suppose. Oh, piranhas, of course. It, you know, it wouldn't be Ark if there wasn't piranhas. Should we swim to the top? And see whereabouts we are. Do you know what? Let's have a... We're going to... Exactly. Run away. We're fight. We're, we're going to punch these piranhas. Oh, you know what? I need a weapon. I... What level are these? It's only 29. Why are we so weak? Go away. Right, that's it. That is it. I've had... I've, I've had enough. I've had enough. We're getting a sword. And... I, you know what? I was going to say a tech sword, but I don't think we need a tech sword, do we really? Right, where are you? Exactly. Go away. And you, where are you? Come here, come here. Thank you. That took me. That took me longer than I should have, guys. 
I apologize. Anyway, so now we can uh, come back up here. And as you can see, it looks like this is so cool. It's like a hidden cave. Um, I did not expect this at all, to, this to be what this map is. Like, this is so weird. And now I can't even remember which way we were, which way we're meant to go. Was it this way? Or, did, or we, I mean, meant to carry on going that way? I don't even know. Um, I do want to go. I do want to go back just this way to see. We will carry on. If this is the wrong way, then I'll go back the other way. But I just, I just want to have a little look up to see. Um, unless we are just constantly going to see maybe where we came from. Interesting. So is it from up there we came from? Yeah, so it was up there where we came from. And then obviously we'll go back the other way, but... I'm so shocked, because this definitely wasn't here when I last played this map. So we'll just keep on going along. Do you know what? We should have tamed that. Was that a Sabertooth or an Itchy? I can't even remember. Um, but yeah, I did not expect to be doing this in this part of the map, because, you know, the last time we played it, I was just going to show you the PvE side of things. But I suppose I want to get to the actual end of the water, just to see what's going to be at the end of the water source. Um, I reckon there could be, I don't know, a way out, I suppose, and this is if it, of this underwater cave. Um, but I wonder what you can do down here, and I wonder what the plans for this part of the map is added in. Because obviously, I, we were meant to actually be able to get into that little house. Um, and it's a bit weird how we couldn't get into that house. But I suppose we'll see what's down here. There's probably just another way up. I would be shocked if there wasn't. Um, but yeah, let's carry on going, and we're nearly there now. I kind of want to look up, but I think it's just... It looks like that's the bit, that's the way out, but... Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I suppose you're in creative mode. Uh, jellyfish, I just hate on this game so much. So we'll swim past them. Go away, jellyfish. Um, and... Are we gonna... What? What is this? Is this, like... I feel like I'm about to come to a boss battle or something. Like, it really feels like that at the moment. I suppose, I just hope it's a way out, or, or or bump into something really cool. So more jellyfish. I did not expect to be playing Swimming Simulator 2021 today. Like, I expected to be showing you guys this map, but I feel like it's just going to have to get to the point where I might just have to... I don't... I want to see what's at the end, though. Like, I was going to say I was going to have to... I was about to respawn, but I really want to see what's at the end of this. Come on, there must be something. There's no way they're gonna. There's no. There's no way they're gonna excite me to the point that I'm gonna get to absolutely nothing at the end. Hello. Right. This must be the end. This must be the end. How much underwater has this got? <laughs> Look behind us. Some friends. Right. Okay. What are we gonna find? This must be whatever we're looking for. Right, interesting. I feel like this is a bit spooky. Like, what could this be? It looks like there's a little door through here. What is... What is this? I'm shocked. I'm actually shocked. Like, I did not expect to see this part of them. This is all new. This is all new. What is all this? So we'll go through here. And if there isn't... If it doesn't show us some sort of exit, then we'll probably just have to... What? A piranha? A what? What? What did that just say? Um... What does that mean? I don't- I can't understand it. I can't un- I feel like... What? Um, guys. <laughs> um, is that is oh, I, I I'm speechless. What is going on right now? Wait, wait, wait. Is that it? I mean, it looks cool, but I'm so I I don't I did not expect this must be all added in. So they've blocked us. So do we just have to fight this thing? I thought this had something to do with piranha. I could be wrong. Um. 
Hello. Oh, you're not friendly. I wonder how much health it's got. Is it just gonna have like a crazy amount of health? What level is it? Level 50? I feel like I feel like we should get ourselves a tech sword. Should we get a tech sword? What's its health looking like? Is this is this a special boss? Do you reckon? Wild male X. Right, we're gonna get a tech sword. You just carry on doing what you're doing, buddy. Right, sword. Let's give ourselves some element. Oh, that's if I can spell it. Element. Um, I think that's it to get a hundred. Right, where is the tech sword? Because this, right, come here. <laughs> that that helped a lot. So. Was that the only boss, or... I mean, don't get me wrong, that was very cool, this this whole part of... But I'm wondering if there... It just felt like maybe there should have been, like, some sort of... What's this here? Artifact? Artifact to the... Okay, interesting. So is there anything else? There's more art. Is there more artifacts there? But this is very cool and it has potential. I really believe it, believe it's had has potential. Um, is there anything that was in the inventory of this? So this is this must be some boss that you had to fight. I ha I have a feeling. I had a feeling that there was going to be something like that. Um, nothing else. No. No. All right. Well, anyway, let's see. If we There's more artifacts, but let's see now. I suppose that's the boss completed. Let's see what's up here. I think we might have to end up just um, killing ourselves and respawning in. Um, just so we can like actually check out the rest of the map. I didn't expect the first part of the episode was going to be underwater. Um, what's up here? Yeah, it, it's way too long to get back, isn't it? So what we're going to do is off that. And we're going to swim to the bottom and slowly, unfortunately, like, I mean, we defeated the boss in creative mode. <laughs> I wish there was like a teleporter out there. That's probably the next step for the map, isn't it? What's my, what did I level my oxygen up to? 300. Okay, I suppose it's not too much. But yeah, shout out to the creator. I think if I'm crea uh, correct, um, uh, that the person's name is Dom as well who created this. Should we take this artifact? Is it another artifact of the lost? It is. Right, well, what a cool start to the episode, guys. I didn't even expect any of this. Um, definitely, I'd recommend making the final boss a lot more powerful than that and a lot more scary. Um, but apart from that, let's get into, I suppose... Is it raining underwater? <laughs> I suppose we'll get on to the next part. How much health have we got left? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I wish there was something to attack us. We should probably swim over to the jellyfish. That'll probably make it a bit quicker. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of that whole scenario of that there. Um, and I, I wonder how they're gonna how they're gonna implement this to make it a little bit more easier to find, I suppose, or easier to do. Um, it's definitely gonna be a PVE side of things. But we want to go see the rest of the map now because there's some really cool things. 57 minutes until that boss comes back. Oh, cool. So that's a really cool addition there. They've actually like let you know when it's coming, how long you've got until the next one you can fight. And yeah, maybe there's something different every time. Maybe that's something I should have checked out. But anyway, jellyfish, you can eat me this time. Oh. Oh. Uh. Anyway, there we go. So. Rather than respawning, we'll let the jellyfish eat us. So look at the map. The map looks really, really cool. So there's only one spawn region at the moment, which is the main house bit. Um, and we died somewhere around there. Anyway, let's spawn in. So we're back at the spawn. Um, GCM. And we'll uh, creative mode it. Um, and then let's go have a look around, around at the map. Why does it have to rain? I don't know. And why does it have to freeze? I don't know. We're not going to respawn again, are we? What is going on? Don't tell me the map's crashed. Don't tell me. <sighs> I'll be back, guys, in f a second. Right, we are back in, guys, um, after a few crashes. I don't even know what was going on there, but I can finally show you 
around the map because that's what I've been waiting to do. I think it's because sometimes when you're in creative mode and you try and like fly too fast, it just like the game can't keep up with it. But anyway, creative mode back on and let's see because last in the gate works for me and it's going to work again. That's what we love to see. There we go. So the gate is opened up and we leave the land, the, the, the starting land. Uh, can, we, can we actually... What is that noise? I think it's the noise of the gate. Maybe it's a timer. But we can press to close it again, can't we? I don't even know. But anyway. So we run off into the world. And... Don't do it again. He's done it again. <laughs> See is what this looks like. Oh, okay. So, I'm wondering what this is. What is this? Is this where you can... There's a button that you can press for this. I'm so confused. This is so new to me. Is anything going to open? I mean, unless there's... Oh! Um... Is this like a race... I think this is like a racetrack. This is, this is so cool. I think this is where you can literally race like your... Like, maybe some horses or something, or any dinos, and you can run down the racetrack, and this is where people can come and, like, just obviously, like, where you get your tribes, and you can run up here, and, I don't know, like, this is so cool, you come and watch it, and then, obviously, um, oh, I thought that was a podium there, but then you can obviously do, like, things where you can maybe bet things, I don't know, like, and say, oh, I'll give you this amount of metal if your dino wins. Like, that's really cool. So, I'm a big fan of this map so far, and it hasn't even really started. Okay, so there's lots to explore today, and we're gonna try and explore it as much as we can. So over here, it's just more shelter. There's then another way to get in. Um, I suppose that's just the beginning bit. Let's just fly over and see what's going on around here. I think we'll go this way first. So over here, we've got, oh wow. Okay, is this Spino Island? Um, right now they haven't actually named, um, like, I mean, it's 98% complete, so I suppose they need the, the final finishing touches, but, um, they haven't really named many things at the moment. Is that a piranha going off to, yeah, the piranhas are going off to attack the spinos here, but I'm sure this has got to be, like, Spino Island, Spino Lake or something, because, oh, wow, nice bird noises, um, and as you can see, this bit is where you don't want to, like, I suppose, oh, well. Wow. Is that, a, is that a Capruchus attacking the Spino? Imagine if that actually ends up winning. So it's sort of a swampy area. When you come out of the main base, I suppose you don't really want to be coming straight over here. Um, and then, is this bit not being finished over here? Or is it just not spawning in? Oh, I suppose this is probably maybe the end of the map so far. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so we can't actually get out that way. Um, so let's maybe go around here. It doesn't look like a huge map, but at the same time... It looks like it has a lot of potential. Over here, we've got some nice little statues. Are they going to come and attack us? Oh, wait, they're fighting compies. They're having a little chomp out of the, little chomp out of the compies there. Uh, we've got some statues there. Um, if we come around, we've got a Therizino. So the dino spawns are pretty nice on this. They're very, like, I like structured dino spawns. So not all the time. So is this, like, Turtle Lake? See, look, they've got, like, a real sort of structured... You know, this this is where the turtles were. The other one was kind of where the spinos were. We've got some therizinos over here. We've got a nice waterfall, which they can go... And, okay, what's this? Oh, wow. This... This is seriously awesome. This map. And they've got tree platforms, which you can... And a... Uh, this, I'm, t I'm trying to take this all in, but it is so, so cool. So this must be some sort of battle arena... What does this do, though? That is the question. So if we head over to this, is this a bell, or can we ring the bell yet, or is it not Is it not a valid thing to do yet? I don't know. What happens if we hit it? Well, maybe this is something they've got planned to, like, ring a bell or something. Um, it's all gone a bit foggy. Is this a button? No. So I think this may be, like, a fighting arena, if I'm correct. Um, and there's maybe other paths where you can come into the fighting arena. Um, and if we go into the middle here, um, I suppose this is where you can actually walk in and battle from each side, if I'm correct. But I really like this, and I want to change the time of the day because we want to make sure it's nice and light. I know it was a bit foggy, but also, if someone wanted to obviously come and overlook the battles again, 
They can come onto here and over overlook it. And you can be safe up here. You don't have that when you're watching. You don't have that trouble of thinking, I'm going to be attacked by something. And do you know what I like about this map? This has finally given me what I needed. I've played so many maps, but this map has imagination. It's something that is different from the others. It's not the same. It like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the new maps that have come to game. Like Crystal Isles, I can't uh, say that is, is the same at all to any of the other maps. You know, like this is a very, very, very diff. Um, it was a very, very different map and that was what was needed. But this map has some huge imagination to it. Think like actual events that you can get up to. I mean, this is like some Therizinos loving the the light. Like this is if like things were to make like a park and they broke out. Like and they just, it's just really cool. So if we follow the path round, there's lots of trees. You can barely even see the path. Like it kind of just ends up taking you through the woods. So we run the path. It's really spooky as well, which is what I like. Um. Suppose we'll run up this way and see what's up here. We've got some dillos or dilos. Is this a cave? <gasps> this will be so cool if it's a cave. Um, I can't see anything. We need a torch. Right. Should, should we see if we can get ourselves a torch or something? What even is that? that I'm, I'm really enjoying this already. We only want one. Um, okay. Okay. We're on our way, guys. What is this? I'm really scared what's going to be at the end of this. Please tell me I'm going to be able to find my way out. This is insane. This really is. Okay. Is that a, is that a skull or anything? I don't really know. Maybe it's just an unfinished cave, but that is really really awesome like this whole cave is it, it has so much potential maybe there could be like a boss or like a giant spider or something like that in here that you can fight to like gain stuff i don't even know but that's quite spooky but quite fun at the same time because we literally couldn't see anything as we walked in there so anyway friendly i'm friendly <laughs> um should we go and find the other path i don't think there's going to be really much down this way um, so if we zoom our way back, I mean, do you know what I like about this is you just you just don't know what's going to be turning and attacking you like the next step you take. If you know, I mean, we haven't actually seen like any Rexes. We've seen Spinos, um, but I suppose there's still more to come and still more to see. Uh, would we go up this way or do we go that way? I don't know. Maybe this is the end of a path. Should we have a look? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is this an unfinished part of the biome? So this is meant to maybe be the scorched earth part of the map. Um, it looks a bit unfinished at the moment, but as you can see, you've got some kind of creatures that have that are in here so far. Um, I'm sure there's lots more to come. We've got oh galley. If I were you, I'd run now. I would run now. There's no way they're catching up with that galley anyway. Off, off it goes. See you later. It is gone. It's going to run into a rock or something. That's that's always its downfall. But I suppose they have a few paths which take you all around here. This is actually becoming a lot bigger than I expected. Because um, over the mountains, it kind of... I like how they have paths. I mean, I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I really like the path idea. This is huge. It really is. This whole biome is massive. So if we come back into this, I just don't want to make sure we don't miss out on anything. So we've got more lakes that follow around the river. We've got some more... T the turtles in this love... These saber tooths. they're looking at me. They're actually looking at me. They're like... Hello, friend. Hello. You can't get up here. You can't get up here. Look how many of them there are. I didn't even mean to do that. I meant to go... That's what I meant to do. You can't get me. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing now at this point. Like, Imagine like they just one just leaps up right now. Come on, then. Come on, then. <laughs> but anyway, let's get on with it. Sorry, Sabretooth. No, no food for you. So if we move up here, this is again a nice little late point to build. Um, we then jump and zoom over here, see if there's anything. I'm surprised we haven't seen any Rexes yet. I'm really surprised. We've seen a lot of sort of cr stranger creatures that you wouldn't really expect to see as much. Um, but this map is fantastic. Like if I were to give this, it's not in my eyes. It's not 98% finished. I mean, the creator may think differently to me. Um, I mean, maybe if once you understand the vision. Okay, there's more here. 
What is this? What is this? Who even is... Is a statue? Is this meant to be like an enclosure for something? I don't know, it looks like something where you'd keep like an animal, a zoo, and have its food here. I don't know. That's, that's very interesting. Um, that's what I get the whole feel from it. Like, it kind of feels like it's an enclosure, like a Jurassic Park sort of thing. Um, but as we zoom around, it's quite foggy. Um, I would give this map, you know, a, maybe a... Should we go for a... No, a like, I don't know. I really don't know what to give this map. An 8? Because of it, just how different it is? I think we go for it, guys, to be honest. Just because there's so... Oh, there, there's some raptors down there, some scorpions. Um, I was wondering why the scorpion didn't start attacking the raptor there. I thought they were going to have a little... I thought they were going to bump into each other and uh, have a little fight. But yeah, there's so much to explore in this map, guys. And if you are on PC, I really, really recommend giving this map a try. Because... This is looking fantastic. It really is. I don't think there's much... We might miss out. Okay. Oh, so we've come back actually to this part, which is what I wanted. This is near the start. I actually wanted to have a look over this way. I think it's just some stones that you can check out. Um, if there was anything else that we missed out from the actual starting spawn zone, I think that is pretty... There, there's the spawn zone. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything we really need to check out, if I'm honest with you guys. Um, okay, there's like a little way you can go through here. Um, is that a bee's nest down there? It is. But yeah, really awesome. I, I can't wait to see the updates of what happens with this map. And I will keep you guys updated. I was just trying to find the starting bit. Where's the starting bit? We've got, there it is, over there. Um, so if you did enjoy this, as always, guys, make sure to smash that like button. Where should we stand? Should we stand on the top of this one? Make sure to smash that like button, guys, because I've really enjoyed making today's video. Make sure to be subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And uh, let me know what you think about this.